Hi, YouTube. You're not going to really be able to see me unless you can see me. Edward Dindle here. Sarah Dindle and Nancy Dindle also. We are doing Deadly Venomous Tarantula Handling Number Four. Four. Hold on, that finger's broke. Needs surgery. Four. <laughs> All right. We're going to go over several different species today. And just so everybody knows, no tarantula is deadly venomous unless you are a cricket or a roach or some kind of feeder prey item. Today, we have Ray from Jeepers Creepers Tarantulas. This is the lovely Grandma Stola Pulcher. I mean, <laughs> Pulcher. Grandma Stola Pulchra. And... They are one of the most handleable tarantulas out there. This one's hungry. I'm gonna fill him out. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. And see how he wants to be handled or don't. Get her on close up, mate. I hope you are getting a good view of this. Hey. Grandma Stella Poultry's are really, 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 really nice. This is Ray. Named it after the guy who got it for me from Deerbird Scrapers because he's so awesome. Check that out, people. I get some more light on the subject. One of my favorite species on Earth, as far as Grandma Stolas go, they are known as a giant Brazilian black. Absolutely amazing and wonderful. Perfect, beautiful specimen, you see. Um, a lot of people think that you have to handle tarantulas when you get them. You don't. I'm only doing this because to show how tarantulas act when being held and it might differ from tarantula to tarantula because different tarantulas have different um, different uh, dispositions about them. One of them might be in a good mood and another one might bite you. I don't know about the uh, Grandma Stola Poultras. Uh, I love how he walks with his butt up in there. Sorry y'all are missing it. I'm going to try to get him back in the frame. I like how he walks with his butt up in there, though. Look at that. It's like, that's his threat. He's like, if you keep messing with me, I might web you. <laughs> or I might poop on you. It just depends. Some tarantula's defense is urticating hairs. Some are poop. And some are biting or threat posturing, like such. They just hold their hands up in the air. So we're going to put this one back in there. Grandma Stola Poultra. And give him a food so y'all can see how he acts with a food item um, unless he's not hungry then he won't eat they can tell the difference clearly I guess we're doing a roach handling in that yeah it's alright he's uh, that roach is there and he's not hungry really I guess we have several of this species Several more on the way. Here, can you take this stuff for me? Really good. We are going to be handling a another. This one's an Acantha scuria geniculata, a male, a sexed male. I'm gonna try to get cover more species for you guys. I've never handled this one before. I've never handled this species before either. I don't handle my tarantulas very often because I don't. Them. And I'm going to fill this one out to see how he acts. Whoa, you see that? Y'all see that? My nephew would say when he was a little kid, he'd say, See that? <laughs> yep, this one, uh, and there you go, a little bit of hair kicking right there, you see. They love to put out your decaying hairs. So, I'm not going to be doing very much handling this. Don't breathe, sir. Back. That is their defense mechanism right there, and you do not want to breathe in these urticating hairs because if you do, it's going to hurt, put a hurting on your uh, respiratory system, and it itches. What I'm going to do is, I don't recommend handling this species at all, but you can. I'm just going to, you see these fangs going into this thing? He's attacking this thing right now. Fangs are widespread and going into it. I'm going to run him onto my hand, and hopefully he won't bite me. I don't know if he will or not. 
we will see. So we can get, this is considered handling if he just walks in my hand. And we're holding, and I can't discourage Anikula out of hair kicking. They're notorious hair kickers. You don't really want to get involved with that kind of hair kicking. Um, this is the first time he's ever been handled. I'm not going to be giving him kisses and handshakes and all that stuff. You've seen how his fingers were open. He is not in any mood to be handled or held by anyone. But he's doing absolutely fine. There goes a little bit more hair kicking. Get back, sir. Get back. Way back. And uh, we don't want that hair all over. You can, uh, well, it's going over there. I can see it. All right, I'm going to move him back in here because we don't need irritating hairs all over the place. If you look at the abdomen right there, you can tell exactly where it is. Here's him a little water dish. There you go, buddy. So that's two species. There goes more hair kicking. I don't know if y'all seen that or not. Here you can place them back in the booth. While we're dealing with hair kickers, um, sometimes this species, this is a uh, this is a Brachiopelma species here. Brachiopelma albopelosum, the Nicaraguan color, or the Nicaraguan true form. It was a hobby form and a Nicaraguan form. I know how these act. Uh, I'm going to fill him out a little bit. So I'm touching him and he's not doing anything. He knows. The reason I do that is because if y'all watch feeding videos and my feeding videos, you'll know immediately when something touches in there and fills them hairs, they're going to attack it. Even when it's something so softly like that. But uh, these guys, yeah, there you go, a little bit of hair kicking. I'm going to pick this guy up. You can pinch grab them, actually. See so how I'm pinch grabbing this one? You can hold a tarantula like that as long as you go in between the... Uh, not the pedipalps or the first leg or the second leg. There's the pedipalps, the first leg, second legs. You gotta grab them in between that area right there. And I'm just gonna place them onto my hand. I'll let you guys get a good look at this guy. This is my son's tarantula. He chose this one after doing a lot of extensive research on the different species of tarantulas. And he wanted one that he was able to hold and pet and play with. And this is the best one that he found and if you have to hold a tarantula or want to this is the one you can see you can hold them and you can mess with them you can do what you want they're not going to bite unless you absolutely hurt them and you can be more rough or whatever with them you see how i'm doing i'm moving his legs out of the way and i'm grabbing him like this he's not even putting those things out i'm turning him upside down he's absolutely nice look i'm gonna lay him upside down on my hand absolutely wonderful tarantula very good beginner species they take down food, they're heavy hard hitters, I love them. So we're going to put him back in there now that we've got that. Get the hair kickers out of the way. They don't kick hair as much as some of the other brackies. But uh, I'll bring in more beautiful, we're going to end this video with the most beautiful species, one of the most beautiful species of yeah, brachiopelmas. One of the most beautiful species of brachiopelmas available in the hobby, the brachiopelma homori very similar to the smith eye but different they are two different uh, animals no matter what anybody's told you um, there was a lot of confusion but a smith eye is a smith eye they're bigger than the homori they have a uh, brighter carapace and they do not have black on the knees like a homori does there's a few other minor differences too but this is the uh, smith eye I'm going to fill him out and see how he feels he's feeling okay I'm going to put my hand down in here. See that hair kicking right there? They like the hair kick too. And uh, he's acting pretty nice. But we're going to try to get him to get on my hands, what we're going to try to do. And not get totally haired. Hair kicking is a New World Species first defense. Not their last defense. they got several defenses, but it's one of their first. It's an absolutely beautiful tarantula. They don't want to run off. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. I can feel the heaviness of this tarantula walking on me. These were considered in the hobby one of the most docile tarantulas on the planet at one time, but they, to me, are not. There's other more docile species, like some of your uh, arboreal 
avicularias and stuff like this. But still, this is one of the most beautiful tarantulas out there. Check it out, people. Y'all love that or you don't love that? If you want a tarantula that you can handle, this one is easily to handle. As you see, there's no hair or no bald abdomen because I don't handle my tarantulas all the time. Not because I don't love them or something or I neglect them. They get everything they need. And handling is just something they simply don't need. It don't benefit them at all. But it's interesting to be able to hold a tarantula because you get to interact with the tarantula. The biggest fear you got to worry about when holding any tarantula is you might harm your tarantula. If you get scared or something and you want to jerk, it can cost that animal that wasn't going to hurt you their life. We don't want to do that, so y'all are going to be careful when I'm at. That's the end of them. I'll move them off here. You're okay, baby. You're okay. You got some more urticating hairs all over the place. They're not as really bad as the LP. And we're going to end this video with one of those more docile beginner species I was telling you guys about. This is the avicularia. No, it used to be avicularia. It's a carabina versicolor now. I'm still used to calling them avicularia. Almost exactly identical. And uh, they are blue when they're babies. Blue and beautiful. I'm just going to run this thing out a little bit so I can get a better view for you guys. If you want an arboreal species, you can... Um, whoa, see him trying to get... He thought he was going to get a food. That's funny. That was cute. <laughs> I just got up to the most, most uh, calmest one. If we can get him still so you can see. I love the way they move their feet and stuff, and they're very fast and flighty. That's another thing you got to be used to. They jump, and they're flighty. They're not really bitey. That one, that was a perfect example. If y'all rewind the video a little bit and look, you'll see how he went to attack my finger when I put it in there because he thought it was a food stuff. And immediately when he grabbed it, he realized it was something bigger because their brains work ten times faster than ours does. They process what they touch on the tips of their on the tips of their toes faster than we can register, faster than our eyes can see and register to our brain what's happening. So that immediately, when he touched me, he knew that I was not a prey item and decided not to bite, which is absolutely awesome. So if you ever get bit by a tarantula, the chances are it meant it intended to bite you, which would ra rarely happen. I mean. You see what you can put. If you watch this whole series, you can see the stresses that has been put on tarantulas during this series, and they do not. Come on, baby. Yeah, he jumped off of there. Hold on. They do not. Uh, he's a, they have he's not. A, they have not him. bit. So uh, to see you guys. Now I hope you enjoyed the number four of this uh, series. As always, I wish you all peace, love, and happiness, and all that good shit. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, share my videos, watch my order videos while you wait for new ones. Check out that malt. Edward Tyndall, Sarah Tyndall, and so many Tarantula Tyndalls out. Oh, don't forget to hit that like button. Um. And share, comment. I will read your comments and try to get back with as many of you guys as I can. Edward Tyndall out.